This is a dramatised and significantly fictionalised account of the Spanish-Portuguese push to drive the South American tribe of the Guarani from their homeland and Jesuit mission in the 1750s. Author Robert Bolt uses this historically genuine event as the basis for a discussion of faith, the church, politics, redemption and the place of violence in fighting for what you believe in. By means of two contrasting characters, Jesuit priest Father Gabriel, played by Jeremy Irons, and mercenary slave trader Rodrigo Mendoza, played by Robert De Niro, Bolt shows the strength of human compassion, dignity and determination, and how they can be held of no consequence in the face of human greed, political expediency and the interests of a large organisation. Rodrigo Mendoza is a mercenary slave trader who clearly shows no compassion for his victims and is a man used to having his own way. He's a man for whom the lives and thoughts of others mean little. Until the day he kills his own brother, while in a jealous rage when he discovers he has lost the woman he loves to his brother. Filled with remorse, Bolt seems to specialise in showing the pain of his characters, and perhaps for the first time in his life reaching out for and needing the spiritual rather than the physical, Rodrigo takes sanctuary in the local church. There, Father Gabriel offers Rodrigo a channel for his remorse in joining him at his mission among the Guarani, the very people he used to ensnare and then enslave. Rather poetically, Rodrigo drags his armour behind him, representing the heavy weight and burden of his past life, as he accompanies Gabriel up mountains, across rivers and through jungle to the mission of San Carlos. Once arrived, and again rather poetically, a member of the Guarani literally and symbolically cuts him free from the burden of his armour and his past, bestowing freedom and forgiveness on the mercenary and enabling him to get on with the rest of his life. Gabriel has helped the Guarani harness their potential, and together they have created something of a heaven and earth, developing land, livestock and living accommodation. Rodrigo readily contributes to this life and willingly becomes a member of the Jesuit order himself. All is going ominously well, away from political and ecclesiastical interference. However, pressure is being brought to bear on the Catholic Church, which is in charge of the Jesuits, as Spain and Portugal divide South American territories and Portugal wishes to exercise its commercial rights by entering and taking over the Jesuit missions which come under papal protection. Cardinal Altamirano, played by Ray McAnally, is dispatched to investigate as Gabriel and other Jesuits argue and demonstrate the Guarani are spiritual and are therefore entitled to continued development and protection, while the Portuguese and Spanish argue they are animal and require the direction and exploitation of a trade nation such as their own. Ultimately, the Guarani and the Jesuits become victims of their own success, as well as pawns in an international game of political chess. Commercial gain wins over religious and human success, and the Guarani are ordered to leave the missions, leading to military conflict and massacre. Although the two are never entirely united, the spiritual, Father Gabriel, and the physical, Rodrigo, work together to protect and defend what they have achieved with the Guarani, Gabriel exhausting all reasonable means to achieve a peaceful solution before Rodrigo sets out to defend them militarily. Of course, Gabriel cannot endorse Rodrigo's intentions, but there is the implication, with the gift of his cross to Rodrigo, that Gabriel understands Rodrigo's actions, given the desperate circumstances and the fact the church appears to have turned its back on its own to side with its moral adversaries, for reasons of its own, financial or otherwise. Bolt appears to be suggesting that while the spiritual is essential and offers guidance and hope, the physical is also necessary if reasoned argument fails, and especially if your opponent is willing to use similar physical tactics against you. Just as Victor Hugo was an advocate of the spiritual but was opposed to organised religion in the shape of the church, so it appears that Bolt suggests that much can be achieved through the love and compassion advocated in the Bible, but this can be lost in the mire of interest of the vast organisation the church has become. As far as performance is concerned, both Robert De Niro and Jeremy Irons acquit themselves honourably and make you feel the pain, peace, remorse and anger they portray. However, special mention must go to Ray McAnally, who manages to convey weariness, joy, steely determination and profound regret when his character sums up the situation and expresses deep-felt guilt and remorse as he comes to his inevitable decision and must live with the consequences. My thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it of some value.